they came over and helped us demo like. the rest. very busy very productive weekend but we'll get to that in a little bit um, a lot of you saw that we did not have a video up for Saturday because Friday we had gotten some construction goodies and then worked all week or all weekend with friends lots of friends it's been a really busy it's couple, been a really days. Busy couple lots of days. running around and honestly it was like you know what let's not worry about the camera right yep. now so we'll we'll talk about what we did this weekend when we get back, but right now we are on the road. We are on our way to the UPS freight facility because, there's a story here for a second. <laughs> Justin and Rebecca Rhodes' old lawnmower has come to live with us. They were having issues and decided to get a new one, and one of the issues was that the mower was going out. The motor. Mo motor, thank you. I always get these words mixed up. The motor was going out, and we knew this, and we said, hey, you know what? We'll take it. We'll, we'll fix the things that we'll, need to be done. We'll take on the drama. We will take on the drama of the decades old lawnmower. So, we got it, you pulled it apart. Turns out it needs a new motor. Yeah, um, the motor, it's just, Justin said he's had it for over 20 years. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a long time. So, I was able to track down the original motor. I was able to order it. Yep. And should have had it a Last week ago. Last Friday, yeah. And for some reason, somewhere along the line, UPS got our address messed up or something like that, and they've been holding it, trying to contact us. I guess they don't have my number. I don't know why, because it's on the shipping information. So, I decided I was gonna get on the UPS website instead of the Amazon tracking thing, and found out that it is being held, called the facility, and they were like, yeah, we've been trying to get a hold of you, but we can't, so we're just holding it. And I said, we'll come pick it up because we've been waiting two weeks for this motor. The grass so, is uh, the grass is quite tall, <laughs> and we've just been waiting and waiting. So we are on our way to pick it up and bring it home so that we can fix the mower and get our grass mowed. in business. You are so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> this grass is like out of control. That's adorable. We, we got it all knocked down and then had and, to wait and, for yeah. this motor yeah. and wait and wait and wait. All right, I've got like two hours of daylight left. So we're not going to see you for the rest nope. of the night. <laughs> okay, so now, now that you have mowed to your heart's content for the evening. I am so dusty and grassy, grassy. right now. Pretty gross, but Yay, mowers mostly don't ew. Mower is back in business. Mower is back in business. Hiya. That was awesome. Super excited for that. So that's good. So we promised you that we were gonna talk about what we did this weekend. Um, Saturday, we had our friends Chad and Jenny from Bet in the Farm. Um, they have a YouTube channel. They came over and helped us demo like, the rest. That's like Chad's gig right there. Yeah, he, that was he came in, he just like went to town and was like, oh. It was amazing. Okay. So 
all we had left was the bathroom and the kids room and then a, a little bit of like the ceilings and stuff left so got that knocked out there's still some rubble in here that we need to clean up but we just kind of like chucked it all out the door and made piles because that was easier to do it's just like where do you go first like do right. we clean this mess do we make this mess and we just do what we can yep when we can yep so got that all knocked out so now the entire interior is gutted mm -hmm. the only thing we have to pull out now is the floors and we'll be doing that because we know there's some joists and stuff that are not great and like under the shower was rotted out and yeah that like was that. fun we pulled out the shower and the flooring went with it <laughs> it's like okay cool so, but we knew that we knew that yeah we knew stuff was going to be nasty there's a couple um two by fours that we need to replace like around windows and stuff where they've gotten gross and stuff like that this so. house wasn't wrapped this house no. wasn't waterproofed in any way so it's it's, just, it's what 30 years old yeah i mean it's a mobile home so it is what it is kind of see us because it's really dark out here and the light is fading quickly but the other thing we did this weekend yesterday Sunday our friends the roads came and we cleaned up the whole pile that was from the inside from the inside moved it all to the dumpster yes and that alone was a major help because when you're just staring at a giant pile of junk it's uh, like oh it's stressful it's, yeah it is and then we took off this hot mess of a deck it was rotted it was constructed not right in the first place like beams were running the wrong way oh it just <laughs> as as justin said he was like oh this carpenter was having a bad day yeah right <laughs> there, there were a couple places so that is ripped off ready to go we'll be putting a massive full size full length deck on the back here a lot of outdoor living space lots of outdoor living space which is going to be excellent so kind of what gave us the idea for it was when we went and visited Bo and Kelly of yes. Better, Better Together Life, we saw what their deck did for their shed the house conversion. Oh my gosh, and it was like, okay, we have to do this. So that's where we got the idea. And that, yes. that's what we're going to do. And Bo and Kelly have actually been a big like inspiration and kind of like just keep going for us with the mobile home in general yep. because their shed the house is not too much smaller than what we have here. Mm -hmm. So just being with them and seeing their tiny space and how they're making it work for their family of six, it's like, okay, we can totally do, we can this. do this. Like, it's gonna be awesome. So this is done. This is basically all of the demo except for the exterior siding. And now from here, it's really gonna be construction stuff. Yep, now it's the fun stuff. The fun stuff, I mean, well, demo's fun. Demo's fun, <laughs> but I don't know. I've reached that point in my life where the demolition isn't as fun. I like the make it pretty putting together yeah. yeah putting it together yeah so there you have it that was our weekend we are making progress it feels like slow but fast at the same time so it'll be good and we will catch you guys on the next one bye